What's going on everyone? I'm Jebediah Calhoun. I'm here with OCTV at the Oxford homecoming game. I'm here at the parade. In the nature of homecoming, I thought it'd be fitting if we asked a few people around viewing the parade what they thought about homecoming. It is September 22nd, 2023. I want to, you know, let's get down there. Let's talk to people. Let's see what they have to say about homecoming. What's your favorite part of a homecoming football game? Uh, I just love the football. I love getting sacks here. Football is my favorite sport. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Personally, I like the experience. The experience, the experience of fighting on a football game? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I just love handing out candy and making kids happy. In the parade, yeah, that's a lot yeah, of fun. Making kids smile. <laughs> um, what about, what, what's other things, you know, maybe not to do with football, like more so in like the school environment, you know, what are other things that are memorable around like the homecoming times? Oh, uh, in elementary, you get a half day. Half day, yeah, half day, that's half fun. Day, stuff like that, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah, there's a special atmosphere. We never got half days on homecoming, so I'm actually quite jealous of that. What would you say your favorite part of homecoming night is? Obviously the tailgate. I mean, this is exactly why football exists at its best level. Um, I always tell people, because I played football for a long time, but I would not have played football if I'd have known about tailgating. And I think the tailgating aspect of homecoming is really what it's all about. It brings the families together, the community together. It's a great opportunity to just have some fun. Yeah, perfect. I agree. Uh, you know, tailgates are perfect and that is heart, you know. Yeah, all, everyone gets together. It's better than the stage for sure, you know, a lot, or the stands a lot less cramped. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> free flowing and just doing your own thing. There's great food. Yeah, for sure. Um, what else would you say, like, from like a student level, what do you think is exciting about homecoming, would you say? For the students? Yeah. I would say... I mean, this is a good opportunity. You're, obviously, you've got a whole combination of the current student body, 
all the people that are coming back to come back and see their old team. And it really comes down to winning. I mean, when you win these kind of games, this is what sets the precedence for the rest of the season. So uh, we're hoping that we go out there and kick the snot out of Clarkson. Yeah, for sure. There's always a lot riding on homecoming games. Yeah, yeah. I agree. They got that momentum from last night's win, right? Oh, there for sure, yeah. The soccer, that's right. Soccer yeah, team. yeah, yeah. A lot of my son's friends around the soccer team, and that is exactly what we're trying to carry through today. Oh, for sure. I know um, a lot of the uh, the Katie brothers are also uh, on Katie's soccer and, and they're in the football Katie's team, you know? And, and Tony Javaro yeah. and uh, uh, Nolan Mauser. Yeah. Uh, gosh, what's the redheaded kid? Uh, Myron. Yeah. My, Max Myron. Max Maxton. Uh, yep. yes. Ryan yeah. Hart. Yeah. There we go. I mean, Tons of them. So you know that energy is going to just, you know? We absolutely know all those kids. It's a, yeah. The good news is, like, our kids, my son is a 2025 graduate, so. Perfect. He, like these are all his buddies. They've been, they've had a lot of success over the years with every sport that they play, so. Oh, for sure, that community is, you know, that's yep. unforgettable. Absolutely. Today. Why are you? Uh, um, I have my grandkids go to Oxford schools. My oh, three perfect. older children, who all have graduated, went to Oxford schools. So we've been in Oxford for quite a while. So we're here to cheer them on, the Wildcats. Perfect, yeah. Um, could you please tell me about your opinions on the homecoming parade this year? Um, I think it'll be fun. They put a lot of work into it, but I'm kind of disappointed that there's no floats. Yeah, we yeah. Had floats in the parade. So there, I, I, what, I just need to know the reason. Why aren't we doing floats anymore? Yeah, for sure. Um, when I was in my freshman year, I was on the uh, float committee, and I was, you know, I tossed candy. And um, yeah. I was talking to um, a young uh, football player earlier, and he said that one of his favorite things was in the parade, being in the parade and throwing candy. So as far as I know, when I looked at the schedule, there was no floats. And, I, and a couple people said there was no floats last year either. So, That's crazy. Yeah, because the floats were the fun part. It was community, getting all the kids together, making their floats. They have a theme. Yeah, so yeah, fun. for sure. We're going to have to get to the bottom of that, right, Chubb? Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to see what that's about. Do you want to tell me what your favorite part about homecoming is? Well, I like how there's the parade and how we get to watch the football game. Yeah, yeah, football is always amazing to watch. Tom, what are you going to do when the, when the Wildcats make a touchdown? I'm going to do the worm. You're going to do the worm? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to do the worm myself, so uh, I applaud you. I applaud you. That's, that's very great. Thank you both so Thank much. You.
Um, why are you here today? What are you What are you here to do? Uh, to support Oxford and the game against Clarkston, the homecoming game. Perfect, perfect. Could you tell me what your favorite part of homecoming is? Uh, to dress up. Dress up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dressing up for the spirit is perfect. I love, I loved doing spirit when I was in high school. Um, could you tell me, maybe, what's your favorite thing about like uh, homecoming in school? Like, how does that affect your school life? Ah, uh, it's it's kind of different. It's transferring here from an old school to this bigger school is. Oh yeah, that probably has a big part yeah. to play in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What school did you come from? Uh, Goodrich. Goodrich? Oh, okay, perfect. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, no thank problem. you. Have a great day. Why are you here watching Oxford's homecoming game? Uh, you know, I have not missed an Oxford homecoming game in years. Gotta Perfect. be here. Yeah, 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 for sure, you know. Gotta see all the kids, you know, say hi to them. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's for exciting. sure, for sure. You know, and you gotta see if they're good sports, you know. Oh, that's see how right. They're taking that's it, right. You know? I, got, yeah. I gotta keep an eye on that, you know. Yeah, for sure, you know, yeah. I, I've got a list that I keep. Yeah, yeah. So. Busy time of the year, busy time of the that's year. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I agree. So why are you all here tonight? To support the cats? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. What would you say your favorite uh like time about homecoming? Like what's your favorite thing about homecoming? Probably the game. The game? Everybody yeah. dressing up. Everybody just dressing being up. with my friends. Yeah. 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 Like the whole town getting together and like it's just fun. Yeah, for sure. Are you guys excited for uh for the dance? Oh yes, yeah. yeah. we're yeah. so excited. Yeah. What's the theme this year? Uh, Night at Shipwreck. Sea. Night at Sea. Oh, that's actually that's a really cool theme. Um, are there any, like, are you guys doing any, like, themes for, like, dressing up? Are you guys dressing up with a bunch of people? Um, we're just wearing our normal dresses. Yeah. Wearing normal dresses. Okay, there you go, there you go. Um, are there anything, is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to say? Go Wildcats! Go Wildcats! Go Wildcats! Actually, I have a question, a follow-up question. Um, we previously, someone said that, um, the parades aren't doing floats anymore. Do you guys know anything about that? I don't think they've done it in a couple that, like, they, like, they weren't working out or something like that, but I don't really know anything else about that. Yeah, I heard that they weren't doing it uh, last year. I didn't know they weren't doing it for a couple of years, but okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, awesome. Everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.
Yes, you are. Why are you here tonight? I'm here to support my school, senior homecoming. Let's go, let's go Wildcats. There you go, there you go. What's, what's most exciting? What's like, what are you most looking forward to about homecoming? Uh, well, I'm one of the paint up boys, so I'm looking forward to painting up, obviously, and just getting loud, getting the student section rowdy, and then looking forward to the dance tomorrow. Should be a blast. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a blast. I heard the, uh, the theme was shipwreck, right? Oh, yeah. that's, that's a really exciting theme. Oh yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to say to the camera? Let's go Wildcats. Actually, where? Would you mind telling me why you're here tonight? So I grew up in Oxford and I also work for the district. So my kids love to come to the football games. They love homecoming. So that's why we're here. Yeah, even the little ones in Oxford colors. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Um, what's, what's your favorite part about homecoming in the community and stuff? You said you work in the district. So, you know, you must experience like, you know, that like that hype, that energy. Yeah, it is the energy. Yeah, it's, you yeah, know, I think sure. there's something very special about a one high school town. Yeah, um, it brings the whole community out for just a really fun night that, you know, all ages can participate in. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, nothing is beats like a small like a small town homecoming. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? What do you like? Anything else you're looking forward to, you know? I just think, um, you know, just the football season in general is such a fun time. It's a great way, I think, to kick off the school year. I think it's super special that it's right at the beginning of the year because um, it just gets all the kids and the community together. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks. You too. Can Thank you. Say you. Say yeah. This is Tommy. Oh, hi, Tommy. Can you say hi? Awesome, perfect. What are you most excited about for a homecoming? How does it affect you at the middle school? Um, it's kind of just fun for everybody to just like dress up and for everyone to get together. Yeah, for sure. I loved uh, Spirit Days when I was in school, so you know, I dressed up every chance that I got. I loved that. Um, what are you excited for for tonight? You know, are you excited to watch the game? Excited for the food? I'm excited to watch my brother play his last homecoming game. Oh yeah, that's really special. Uh, who's your brother? Uh, Brody Moore. Brody Moore? Perfect. Okay, awesome. <laughs>
here tonight are you here to watch the uh, wildcat game yes definitely yeah definitely um so like how does, does do you guys have like school dances and stuff where you're from you're a foreign exchange student yeah and i'm from germany and sadly we don't have like football games school dances anything at all that's why i'm really enjoying it right now oh i'm sure you must be loving it what's your favorite thing that you've seen so far about homecoming honestly just the whole spirit everybody is loving it everybody's excited about it. that's i love that yeah for sure i love spirit days uh, do you guys have spirit days in germany uh, we do like not a lot of people participate actually yeah, but okay. we do yeah it must be exciting it's, uh, like people go pretty over the top for football it must be kind of crazy <laughs> they go pretty intense. it is but i love it it's a great atmosphere yeah yeah it's, it's beautiful out here um is there anything you'd like to add anything you want to say to the camera maybe uh say hi to people Hi, people. <laughs> I love it here. Awesome, awesome. I'm so glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Tell me a bit about uh, the truck that you're running. So we are the Little Donut Factory. We make hot, fresh mini donuts to made to order. You can choose what kind of sugars you want. It's completely customizable. You get to choose what kind of drizzles you want. And then we have combos where you're able to kind of personalize your donuts to your specific taste. And we also do have seasonal drinks. So right now we do have apple cider slushies, which go perfect with our cinnamon sugar donuts. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Um, so what are your thoughts about homecoming? You know, there's obviously a big crowd. Everyone's excited, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, homecoming. I'm, uh, I've been told that we are expecting large, large, large <laughs> crowds. So we're really excited. We're so glad to see returning, uh, returning uh, alumni. And yeah. we're just so excited and we're hoping for a win. Oh, for sure. And uh, Oxford's football, they're always, you know, a huge turnout always every huge. time. Oxford always shows always up. Huge. Oxford, Oxford, shows Oxford up. they show up. Yeah, that's for sure. So, um, where would uh, everyone watching today won't be this isn't live so like where would we find you next time so you can normally find us so we are constantly moving we're based in rochester you can find our location uh on our instagram it's uh, little donut factory without the in front of it and there we post our weekly schedules okay. we are at the farmer's market in Ro downtown rochester every saturday morning until about october roughly okay that's perfect and yeah, so if you want to know where we are, if you're looking to book us or if you're looking to just overall kind of find us because it's kind of fun to do that, yeah. you can find us on Instagram and that's where we post it. Awesome. So you do you do private catering? We do. We do. We do grad parties. We do weddings. We do kind of, I personally, I had the donut truck for my uh, grad party and oh, yeah. it made it so, it made the difference. It made it the place to be at. So oh, I sure. highly, highly, highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do you guys, are you guys all year? Or are you guys close We're year round. Year? We're year round. Perfect. So if you're looking to book us, <laughs> um, if you're looking to book us, uh, you get to customize what kind of time it's based off of your event. So. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the camera? We're so happy to be here. Go Wildcats. Awesome. Thank you so much.
you mind telling me a bit about what you're doing here today? Uh, leadership, we're trying to raise money for all the activities like homecoming and all the dances and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to ra raise money for all those events. Okay, perfect. And uh, you seem to be selling something related to Tropical Smoothie. Yeah, Tropical Smoothie coupons. They have a bunch of coupons on the back and yeah. Okay, perfect. And it probably it goes to like next year's uh, like homecoming and stuff, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And all the events we do this year. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So yeah, uh, fundraising, awesome. Um, are you going to watch the game, yeah. you know, after, after this? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, are you excited for homecoming? What are you most excited yes. for? I'm excited to just hang out with my friends and enjoy just being with everyone. So yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's um, there's a great community that has yeah. to be with uh, football games. Mm -hmm. So perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to add? You'd like to say it to the camera? Uh, go Wildcats. All right, well, that about sums it up for the Homecoming Parade 2023. Um, I hope everyone who goes to the dance has an amazing night. I hope everyone has an awesome night at the football game tonight, enjoys the halftime show, you know, enjoys everyone's company. That's what football is about, is about, you know, celebrating community, especially when you're in a small town. It's about tight-knit groups. So I hope everyone enjoys themselves this year. Um, I'm Jebediah Calhoun. Thank you so much for tuning into OCTV. Have a great night. <laughs>